Hello and welcome to Race 7 of the Ucom Track Series here at the Laguna Seca Road Course in California. 25 cars are out here today to conquer the road course. And if you thought last race was a wreck fest, that was nothing compared to today. Crashes all over the place because this is a road course and it's a long track. We do not count caution laps here. So any crash that happens will go unnoticed. There will just be a local caution. So caution free but incidents involved. A few cars failed to qualify for today's race, Russell R. Curie, Ryan Cook, Adam Dunlap, and Sam Yonke. Unfortunately, could not make today's event. Car number 72, John Cedino, got the pole for today's event. He won twice this season already, one of which had a road course. Not surprised he's running well today. Car number 72 had a lot of competitors to hold off, but he's going to fly out of the starting line. He's going to run really well today. Megan Curley's is second, Daniel Neal third. Instant lap one, very early on. Jamie Murphy's going to come to the turn. Gabe Carraz is wrecking in front of her. Um, Shelby Grace is going to spin her out. Whoa! Car number 28 is going to flip over. I'm not sure how that happened. A few more cars would kind of plow in here. This is from Shelby Grace on board. And I think she just kind of dug the nose into the, into the ground there. Okay. This is David Yankee, car number 07, proving himself very well on road courses. Car number 07 was running in the top 10 today, 7th at this particular point. Good job for him. Winnie Peskic has had a really rough season so far. Uh, crash at Zanvoort put him out of a potentially race winning run. Winnie Peskic also sits in the top 10 for today's event. The Random Rapper is number 97 qualified well for this event, showing that he can race on road courses. Incident lap 7. Tyler Benoit, the points leader, has had enough troubles this past couple of weeks. He's going to put himself into the wall. Car number 3 would have a relatively poor race as he tries to get that car turned around. This is Megan Curley. Now, she has not shown many good runs this season. Watkins Glen was running well until, um, getting held up by Matt Evans, which we talked about. Running second today, this could be a race winning run for Megan Curley. Instant soon after on lap eight. Robert DeFrank in similar fashion, right behind Tyler Benoit actually is gonna spin. It looks like when they're getting into that turn, the fender is cutting the back tire and they're spinning out of control. Robert DeFrank would go two laps off the pace, his race would be ruined. Instant lap 11. Matt Evans loves the Laguna Seca road course, it's his favorite racetrack, but the track is not too fond of him. Same spot as the other two, he's gonna wreck. Car number four has had a very rough season so far. He gets the car fired back up. There's Tyler Benoit, he's been around all three of these incidents, maybe he's bad luck, who knows. Matt Evans having an upsetting day. Incident again, lap 14. This is on board with Manit Peskic. He's going to ram into Rene Gagnon. This would damage the front of his car and the back of Rene Gagnon, but they would keep running. Not too much trouble for these two. It looked like uh, Manit Peskic just, like, didn't break in time. John Cedino was running out front and had a huge lead by lap 16. Car number 72 was running flawlessly until here. Car number 72, mechanical issue. Going into that turn, this could be terminal. He might go out of this race. If he can get to pit road, this he might be able to fix the issue. Here comes the second place car. Road. Whoa! Car number 72 is going to go around. And go, oh, that's his teammate. And, oh, man, cloud of smoke cars everywhere. Oh, more, more car. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what happened here. This is a different camera angle of the incident. This would Okay, um Megan Curley just kinda lost control trying to get around the city. Oh! Hard impact from Robert DeFrank. And that that's um Tyler Smith. Oh! And David Yankee's gonna get a piece of this too. Car number 72, after getting the pole, would be the only car today to go out of the event. Surprising because Shelby LeGray flipped over like 15 laps ago, and they got that car still running. David Yankee would steal the lead despite getting involved with the incident. Pretty much all the leaders were involved. He managed to get past the incident first. This could be a good day for the 07 if you can keep it up there. Car number 07 is not locked in in points. Good day for the Belkin Dodge. 
Incident lap 18. Michelle Sandino driving by Pitt Road. That's Robert DeFrank pulling off onto the track. Car number 55 would go off track. She was running top five at the time. Uh, this is going to be an upsetting run for car number 55. Oh, Andrew Wiggins going to go behind and spin around. Brian Bros going to get a piece of it, and so will um, Tyler Benoit. Poor Michelle Sandino, she's trying to get herself locked in. This is not going to help her. Tyler Smith and Jeff Evans would pit early, like about maybe five laps ahead of everyone else. I'm not sure if this was strategic purpose or just to fix the heavy damage. Either way, Smith and Evans in pit road first. Instant lap 19. Here's Michelle Sadino again. She pulled out on pit road right ahead of the Smith and Evans. Oh, there's, there's Jeff Evans. He's wrecked. We'll have to check into that. Slow on track. She would go and pit again. Yeah, similar issue with Jeff Evans as with most drivers this race. Would wreck in the turn. Not good season for Jeff Evans. Brian Bro would pit the lap afterward. I, again, I'm not sure if this is strategic purposes pitting early or if it was just because of the heavy damage he got from the Michelle Sadio incident. Either way, car number 42 in pit row. Incident lap 20. Josh Mayo would also share the same fate as many other drivers in that particular turn. It's been a, been a real car killer today. Then, a few laps later, everyone's on pit road. This is lap 28, so eight laps afterward. For folks down reading for me so we can get a better view of the entire field. All the leaders came down. The people stay out were a couple drivers that were behind, like Renee Gagnon, who would stay out and take the lead. Been leading a lot of laps this season, but has not gotten that win. Car number 13 still chasing that first victory in the Ford, but has had a lot of bad luck and is usually in the lead at the very wrong times. This is coming off pit road. This is Munit Paskic. The hood's going to fly off the car. Pretty odd sight. Then the rest of the cars who did not pit would come down this lap. Jamie Murphy, Matt Corio, Don Corio Jr., and Matt Evans. Show the Grace Ellis one pit road. She's just out of the shot. She's way ahead of this group. Um, she'll come into the shot soon. Surprising that Shelby the Grace is still racing. Tyler Smith, who pitted early, would stay out and take the lead. Get a few laps led to help his championship run. He's running near the top of the point standings. But he probably might need the pit. I'm not sure if he can make it to the end on fuel. Ray Camiso is running a very good race today, has not had a single issue, and is running in third place. Bob Sadino running fourth at this time. 26 car won last week, and that was a pretty exciting event. Unfortunately, it was at the expense of her teammate, Shelby LeGray, who we just mentioned. Brian Bro would take the race lead as Tyler Smith goes to pit, as expected. Again, Brian Bro did pit early. And he's trying to prove that the win at Zanvar wasn't just pit strategy, but also road racing ability. Though, the reason he is out front is pit strategy. Sure enough, car number 26 was catching up fast, because Brian Bro was running really slow on track. That crash with um, Chelsea Daniel was taking his toll. Rick Camiso was getting three seconds on him each lap. That is really slow on Brian Bro's part. Incident lap 35. David Yankee, who is running a really good race today, is going to share a similar fate to the rest of the drivers in this turn and end up in the wall. Poor run for the 07. Now, despite the wreck fest we've had in the first section of the race, only two incidents happened in the closing stages. The last incident would happen on lap 50. We'll get to that shortly. Ray Camisa would take the lead as Brian Broke did eventually go to pit as expected. 26 car was running a good race, but Bob Sadino was close behind the 04. Either one of them could win this race. Incident lap 50. This is the final lap. Matt Evans, just in case his track hasn't kicked him enough. One more go around in front of the race leaders, as we'll see in a few seconds. Car number 4 had just had an awful day. He tried to get that car started. I feel bad for Matt Evans. He really wanted to do well here. But one driver who did do well is Maria Camiso. Coming to the line, car number 26 would win today's event. 
great job by the number 26 team, 84 Lumber, the sponsor. And Bob said, you know, finished second. Very good runner-up position. Ray Camiso winning two in a row, just like John Sadino did a couple weeks ago. But that wasn't all for this race. Incident post-race. Jeff Evans pulling in the pit road is going to accidentally plow into Matt Corio. And both of them will go wrecking off track. Uh, not the smartest group for Jeff Evans. Yeah, he was called to the hauler for reckless driving. I'm sure they'll dismiss it. Race results. Ray Camiso won the race, Bob said, you know, second, Ian Pervetti, and a distant third. We need Peste to round out today with a top five despite incidents. Brian Bro also did very well despite that incident. Um, Rene Gagnon, David Yonke, Michelle Cedillo, Matt Evans, Rob DeFranco, would all finish off the lead lap. John Cedillo was the only car to go out. He was the pole sitter. Point standings. This is your top ten. Brian Valentine will overtake Tyler Benoit for the points lead by a few points. Tyler Smith is in third. Maria Camiso still hanging in there. Megan Curley, Ian Perfetti, Daniel O'Neill, Brian Brote, Gabe Carraz, and Bob Sadino rounds out the top ten. Next week, we're going to the most sports speedway in the Great White North, Canada. So, stick around for that race. That should be an exciting event. But for now, I'm signing off.